the next render pass that we're going to do is going to be a occlusion pass. So I'm going to grab just my character. I don't need to grab the lights this time. I'm going to create a new render layer. I'm back here on the render layer. And I'm going to call this OCC. All right. Now, I'm going to deselect. And you'll notice there's no cameras in here. And the first thing I want to do is I'm not going to use for this render pass. There are different ways to do occlusion pass. But for this one, I don't need final gathering turned on. I want it on for my beauty pass, but not this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, right click, create layer override. That turns it orange, and I can turn that off. So in beauty, it's turned on. In occlusion pass, it's turned off. And what that means is if I render this now, it'll be black because there will be no lighting for this whole thing. All right. The other thing is I don't actually want to see this right here, this gray. I don't want to see this one. So again, I go to OCC, Attribute Editor, and in my image-based lighting, we can just add it just so we see it. It's easy to grab. And I want to turn off render stats primary visibility. This means what I'm rendering out, I don't want to see. So now I'm going to say render, and then everything is going to be black. And that's because I don't have any lights on. I'm turning off final gathering. Um, it actually is rendering, it's just black. All right. So next, I want to go to OCC. And I'm going to say attributes. Right click, right click on this layer right here, attributes. And it has some presets. I want the occlusion preset. So now what I'll do is I'll render this out, and you're gonna see that it's got some occlusion in there. Okay. Now I want to have this character on the ground a bit. So I'm going to create a polygon plane. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit, something like this. I'm going to render that out. And it'll have some shadow on the bottom. So see, there's a little bit of shadow there. And what I also see is, oh, his feet are not at the 0, 0, 0. So I need to go in here. And I want to bring this up. So probably normal. It's a little bit easier to bring up and hold this a bit like this. Go back to my occlusion pass, and now it should be fine. But what you'll you should notice is when I put that plane in, it made everything a lot darker. So that we're gonna go in there and we're gonna change these settings a little bit. So now his feet are on the ground, so that's good. Maybe a little bit inside the ground. Um, and we're going to, when we created that override right there, so what that does is layer override means every single object in that layer automatically has whatever shader I just made for the override, which is this one right here. And I can change this. So this is what we call a surface shader. And Maya automatically created an MIB ambient occlusion node and attached it to the surface layer. So if I want, I can change the name of this to occlusion shader. It's easier to go and find it. And we see a couple of things. First is I feel like there's too much shadowing going on. And it's also a little bit grainy. So graininess comes from samples, and how much it calculates comes from spread and max distance. Let's just change our max distance to 12 and see what happens. So that fixes a lot of that shadowing problem, but it doesn't fix. So it's quite good. 
And now samples, it's quite grainy. Let's try 64. See if that fixes that problem. And you'll see how much smoother that render is. So that's good. 64 is good. And it takes 19 seconds per frame. That's not bad at all. Um, it's looking OK. If I want, I can do my max distance to be. Let's, let's just try 24. Maybe we want a little bit darker, just a smidgen. So that gives it a little bit more volume on the body. Right there. It's not bad. Okay, looks good. Let's save that image. So that's how we can render out an occlusion layer. Now I've already set up my render passes, so this is going to render out. I've I finished rendering out my beauty pass. Now I can render out the render layer for Impmon. And we'll we'll have a separate tutorial where I take all of these rendered out separately and um, composite them together. But if I just want to render out my occlusion pass, you see here this green, I can turn this off and only render out this one if I want. Or if I haven't rendered out my beauty pass yet and I'm just gonna do beauty and occlusion, I can render both of these out. At the, and it'll do beauty first, and then when it's done, it'll do occlusion next.